Bank of Oklahoma has been a mainstay in the state for 100 years. Part of BOK Financial, a regional financial services holding company, Bank of Oklahoma began as and continues to be a bank dedicated to strength, stability, and service. This is our story. It all begins during Tulsa's first big oil boom. The year is 1910. Harry Sinclair and a few other independent oilmen need a bank that understands their business. So they acquire Farmers National Bank and reopen it as Exchange National Bank. As the oil economy expands, so does the bank and the Tulsa community it serves. From the beginning, the bank believes in a culture committed to serving the mutual benefits of its customers and its community. That tradition remains just as visible 100 years later. By the late 20s, assets of Exchange Bank are 90 times its original size. Business is good. Like the other Tulsa banks at this time, Exchange Bank survives Wall Street's panic without even a single dollar loss to depositors. Strengthened by the oil industry, the local Tulsa economy is in much better shape than the rest of the nation. But Oklahomans can see the depression spreading across the country and they soon begin withdrawing deposits and avoiding loans. Finally, in the early 30s, the bottom hits the oil and real estate markets in Oklahoma. Tulsa's banks, including Exchange, are in deep trouble. But help is around the corner. Harry Sinclair, James A. Chapman, and H.G. Barnard, three oil and ranching entrepreneurs, advance more than $6.5 million of their personal fortunes to fortify the bank and bolster the Tulsa banking community. The year is 1933. A few months later, Exchange Bank is reorganized as the National Bank of Tulsa. Its $8 million in capitalization makes it the largest bank in the Southwest. Things are looking up, and the bank has a renewed focus on serving customers and growing business. During the post-war economy of the 40s, the bank continues to offer more services. The oil industry is still a big part of our business. People know us as the Oil Bank of America. Between the late 1950s and early 70s, we take our first step into the world of technology with several enhancements, including electronic bookkeeping, and we open our first freestanding motor bank in Tulsa. In 1970, we bring Master Charge to Tulsa, offering customers a convenient new payment device the credit card. The big news in 1975 is our name change. To reflect our more regional scope of business, we are now known as Bank of Oklahoma. Later that year, we opened the first ATM in the state, allowing customers to conduct transactions with a high-tech automated teller. It's the beginning of TransFund, which today is a division of our parent company. In 1976, our headquarters is relocated to the new 52-story Bank of Oklahoma Tower in downtown Tulsa, at the time, the tallest building in the state. We continue to grow. In 1979, we top $1 billion in assets. In 1984, we move into the Oklahoma City market with the acquisition of Fidelity of Oklahoma Incorporated, the state's fifth largest banking company. The late 80s are a tough time for the U.S. economy and the bank. George Kaiser, one of BOK's directors, purchases majority interest and changes the name of the holding company to BOK Financial Corporation in the early 90s. Once again, the company is poised for continued growth. This change leads to additional capital, acquisitions of banks and savings and loans throughout the state, as well as an added mortgage servicing portfolio. It also leads to the creation of Bank Oklahoma Investment Centers through BOSC, which were established in bank branches, bringing broad investment services to retail customers. Following the creation of its parent company, Bank of Oklahoma beefs up its product offerings to further improve service to customers, like bringing supermarket banking to Oklahoma in 1993. The Tulsa In-Store Bank is the state's first full-service branch located inside a supermarket, it's even open nights and weekends. Bankers hours are now a thing of the past. Our next big step in customer convenience is Express Bank, 
a 24-hour call center that allows customers to check their balance, make transactions, even talk to a live banker any hour of the day. The internet brings big innovations to banking. Soon our customers are doing much of their banking online. With improvements like these made in our operations and product offerings, the company expands outside of Oklahoma. By 2010, BOK Financial includes seven subsidiary banks in some of the country's fastest growing metropolitan markets. It also has a full service wealth management division serving individuals and institutions and includes a broker dealer and a registered investment advisor. And the future of banking is more exciting and mobile than ever. With a mobile phone app on the horizon, BOK customers will soon bank wherever they are, whenever they want. Over these past 100 years, BOK and BOK Financial have been leaders in shaping Oklahoma. We continue to provide public financing for major projects that improve our state, like the iconic Oklahoma State Capitol Dome, numerous infrastructure improvements such as roads, bridges, and turnpikes, as well as facilities on nearly every college and university campus in the state. BOK is also highly regarded for its community development work, ensuring the low to moderate income areas we serve have numerous financial solutions, including mortgages and wealth creation. Our work has earned the prestigious Outstanding Community Reinvestment Act rating from the Office of the Comptroller of the Currency. And you don't have to look far to see BOK's nearly 3,000 employees volunteering their time all over the community. Each year throughout the state, the bank and our employees give millions of dollars, tens of thousands of volunteer hours, and many in-kind contributions, all in an effort to make life the best it can be for the communities we serve. BOK also positively impacts Oklahoma through economic development efforts. You can see our passionate support in projects like the BOK Center Arena and One Oak Field in downtown Tulsa, as well as economic development packages in Oklahoma City that created the Bricktown Entertainment District, the Ford Center Arena, AT&T Bricktown Ballpark, and other significant civic improvements. Having lived through the Great Depression of the 30s and the regional economic downturn of the 80s, BOK and its parent company were well positioned to survive the global economic crisis of 2008. In fact, BOK Financial was the largest commercial bank in the country to decline participation in the U.S. Treasury's widely publicized capital purchase plan, an element of the Troubled Asset Relief Program, also known as TARP. Not only are we profitable during this economic cycle, but we outperform our peer group, the financial industry as a whole, and all the major market indices. For decades, Bank of Oklahoma has been the market leader, capturing dominant market share in Tulsa, Oklahoma City, as well as serving many communities throughout the state. And we think there's a good reason for that. Strength, stability, and service. For 100 years, we've been focused on providing the best products and services, customized to meet the individual needs of our customers. There you have it the history of Bank of Oklahoma and its first 100 years. We're already looking forward to the next 100 years.